Hey everyone, so I wanted to show you guys how to put together this watch gift box template that I made. Um, I have this image here and basically you can make changes to it. You can change the color of it. You can add your own wording to it, um, however you would like to do it. But this is how I have this one for today. All right, so right here um, on the band, it's black, but I wanna change the color of it on this one. The last one I made black, but this one I wanna change the color. So you would go here, um, just click on the band, and I'm gonna hold, click this one and hold down shift. And I'm over here in my image effects on my right side panel. And all you do is click this right here, tint, and it gives you where you can change your hue colors. And what I'm gonna do is take this red up um, because I want it to be blue. So I'm gonna do maybe right here, starting to look greenish. Um, let's see, I think, let's zoom in. And you do that by going to the top panel, to the zoom button, and that's blue, but I think I want it, um, Maybe that color blue. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I have it that color. And I have my wording here. Okay. So now that I have it the color that I want it to be, I am going to do a print and cut. So I'm going to select all of this. And I'm going to hold down shift. No, actually, I am going to highlight all of this. Right click and hit group so everything stays in place. And I'm going to just slide it over here in my work area. And to go directly to your workspace, if you're like over here, you just go up here to your left side top panel and then hit fit to window and it takes you right there to your space. All right, I'm just gonna position it in the middle. And then I'm going to add on my registration mark. So that way it knows where to print. And then once after it prints, it knows where to cut. So you go up here to your page setup and registration marks, and we turn it on. Anything that's not within this uh, registration marks line will not cut. But this is simple enough where this area right here that part won't cut, but I can cut it by hand. That's easy enough. Okay, and this area down here won't cut either. Just that small part. But everything within this, this border, these um, borders, will cut. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and print it, and then cut, and then I'll be back. Oh, I forgot to mention that when you do a print and cut, a lot of times, um, everything that you have on here separate will have a cut line around it. So what you want to do is after you printed it out, you go to send and you see how all this is outlined in red. You don't want that. So you want to click and drag to highlight everything. And then you want to hit cut edge. And you see how it's just have that outline around the edge. That's exactly what you want. And after you've done that, then you can set your blade to um, whatever your machine requires. And then um, I normally cut mine twice when I'm cutting cardstock just to make sure that it cuts all the way through. And then you want to hit send. So I'm going to go ahead and print and cut out my image. And then I will be back with the next step. Now that we have our printout cut out, we can go ahead and cut out our panels. So I'm gonna click and drag and group this and slide this to the side. And I'm gonna take my panel and place it in the middle. And you can use any color cardstock that you would like to for this part. Um, we don't need our registration marks anymore. So you go up here to page setup on the right hand side and go to registration marks and turn it off because we don't need those anymore. So I'm going to cut out four of these and I'm going to cut out this as well. This is going to be our pieces for um, in the inside. I have it grouped and it looks like it's not going to fit on there. Grouped, so I'm just going to place it where I see fit. OK, 
Okay, so we're gonna cut out four of these and then we can move on to assembling our box. All right, so now that we have everything, pretty much everything cut out that we need, um, I went ahead and cut out my two circle um, panels, clear plastic panels, and I bought the craft plastic off of Amazon. Okay, and then I have my pieces here cut out for the watch. I have my filler. I have my little small pieces in the inside for the shaker part. And I have some dimensional tape. And you can buy some double side dimensional tape. Um, this is just happened to be the clear one. Um, I probably would get it a little bit thicker than this one next time. But um, using that, I have my side panels. And my bone folder. Anything I'm missing? Um, I don't think so. Okay, so now we can move some of this stuff out of the way. And let's go ahead and do some, a little bit of more prep work. Okay. So as far as our side panels, at the bottom here, you want to um, do a half of an inch using your ruler with my ruler. And I'm going to line it up with my grid on my, my cutting mat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because you might can't see it in the camera, but I'm just going to put it down where half of an inch is, and I'm going to use my bone folder and draw that line. What that line is going to do is make it easier for you to fold um, your flap that goes at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to both panels. Just a half an inch. hate to have you guys just sitting for this this part so I'm gonna pause it here and then come back when I am done with doing both sides of the panel all right the half inch is scored and what we're gonna do is just fold it over see how easy it is to now fold over the the sides and it gives you a, a act more accurate um, fold so once we have both folded over, we can unfold it. That just helps it go around the box better. All right, we're gonna unfold it. And on these, um, all right, where the half inch is, you wanna cut up, cut a slit all the way down. You wanna stop at that half inch mark. Do not go past that mark. And just go about, have the slits about maybe half inch apart as well. And you just do this all the way down until you have completed putting slits in both panels, both side panels. Our side panel slits at the bottom are cut, which I use poster board and, um, it was the length, I think I got this poster board from Walmart and the length of this was um, 28. So I just cut it the full 28 inches. All right, put that to the side and now we have this. And actually you can, we have to cut out the circle of the watch and you can actually cut that out with your cutting machine. I just forgot to cut that part out. So I'm just gonna hand cut it with, um, my exacto knife and you're just cutting around the black area of the watch the center of it okay 
It would have been much faster and simpler if I remembered to cut it, but I didn't. So we improvise, make it work. All right, I'm almost done. Back to, almost back to where I started. Hopefully it cut all the way through. Let's see. Some parts. <clears throat> I'm gonna flip it over and see where I cut it at. I'm, doing, I'm just tracing around where I see that I did cut it, but it just didn't cut all the way through to the back. I'm trying not to mess it up while I'm doing this. I'm trying to do it fast, but then I wanted to make sure it's right. Anybody else a perfectionist? I know I am. I'm trying to learn balance. Okay. All right, so let's cut out. You see? So now what we are going to do, I do need my um, double-sided tape. And I am going to take one of my clear sheets and I'm going to put double-sided tape on the back of this watch piece. I'm gonna go along the edge. All the way around. and just put some in the middle so it can stick. And then I'm gonna position it in the middle of this clear circle. Try not to get my fingerprints all over it. All right, so now it's one piece. And then we can actually go ahead and put Let's see, do I want to put my pieces in the middle or I want to put my dots on there? <clears throat> my dimensional tape. I'm going to go ahead and put the dimensional tape around it on this clear piece. And stay close to the edge as possible. And it's flexible, so it will go wherever you put it. You may have came down too far on that side. Hopefully, that'll be okay. Very, very sticky. All right, let me get my other piece to complete.
Right. So that's all the way around. I can just cut off the excess. And I'm going to put my pieces right here in the middle. Just wherever. I think I like it on one side. Okay, we have that. And then I want to put my little filler pieces in there. You just drop it in there, how much you want. That should be enough. Trying to clean up my mess as I go. And they're like flying everywhere. <laughs> okay. So there we have that. And then we want to take our other acetate piece clear plastic and we want to stick it on top making sure none of these little pieces are on our tape our dimensional tape okay and they want to all attract All right, just push it down all the way around. And then we have our shaker. Hopefully y'all saw that. <laughs> all right. I'm just making sure that the everything is down pretty good. Okay, so the way I want it. And then I'm gonna use my hot glue gun, which I already have plugged up. Trying to clean up the mess. All right, and I'm gonna take my hot, I'm gonna position uh, the clear piece in the middle of this top part of the watch. And I'm gonna hold it down with something so it doesn't slide. As I'm putting glue, around the edge all the way around put glue all the way around the edge and just lay it down Try not to put too much because the glue will start to seep from the bottom. And it looks a little bit crooked. So I'm going to fix that. Everything's glued down. So next step is to put our side panels on 
our um on our what do I call it cover up piece but first let me make sure remember how we had that part that didn't cut with our with my silhouette I have to um, fix that part I have to cut that part off so I'm gonna just line it up flip it over and I'm just gonna cut off the excess piece that I do not need using my um, my other template, cover up template as a guide. I just gotta get a new exacto knife. This thing don't wanna cut. Just trimming off the ends until I have both sides cut off and you only have to trim off the the front printed part so this part here is going to be underneath the front piece all right so <clears throat> I want to go ahead and add on my side panels to my cover up piece. Okay, quick tip, whatever side that's gonna be in the inside of your box, we're gonna put it on the bottom of this, remove this and flip over. That way we can go ahead and place our um, flaps on the right way. So again, that way we don't get confused on which one is the top and which one is the bottom. We're going to align this and this is going to be in the inside. We're going to remove this and flip over. Okay. And I'm going to add a half an inch on this side to, I'm going to just, um, what do you call it? I'm going to score half an inch on this side. No, yeah, a half an inch. And that's just so I can fold it over. All right, half an inch. So you see how this is gonna lay flat, these flaps, just push those down on the table or whatever your area you're working with. And I'm gonna align this Hopefully you can see this crease with this um, corner right here. So like that. That corner is aligned with this crease. So we'll have that half an inch on this straight side. So you just add your hot glue to your, to your little flaps. and then align it, press down so that it stays in place. And now you can start to um, position the rest of it where you want it to go. So some, uh, I'm gonna add some more hot glue and you wanna do a little at a time. That way the glue doesn't dry up on you. And we're just going around the edges, applying. You want to stay close to the uh, close to your template, this cover-up panel, as possible when you're going around it at the bottom. Just adding more glue. I'm just pressing down and as I go. Alright. 
and you just keep going around until you're done. <clears throat> When you get to this corner right here, you just fold it in and then press down your thing. And so I'm going to take my finger and just slide it up and I'm going to add a crease right here. Just bend it. So slide your finger up on one side and then crease with the other finger. And I'm going to do the same thing for this side. And sometimes you may come to where it doesn't fold in all the way. That's because you might need to cut that little flap um, even a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to cut it a little bit more so that way it can go around better. Just keep on adding your glue, going around. And again, for this corner here, I am going to slide my finger up and add a crease and pinch. All right, making sure everything is still intact and everything is still close to the edges of your front panel, top panel, and just keep on doing it until you are all the way around. When you get all the way around, add your glue, and then you want to add glue right here on this flap that you're working with, just on the end, so that way we can glue it to the other side. So we're going to take it around, press it down, and then attach it, I don't know if you guys can see it, but attach it to this side. Hope you guys can see that. Now we have our top completed and you see how it looks on the bottom. We're going to cover that up. We're going to cover it up with a white panel. Just so we can cover those ugly lines up. And I have it positioned, I believe, where I want it. So I'm just going to hold it down with one hand and then add glue around the edge. And let it fall down. And press. And go all the way around. Top layer is on and now we want to put our watch layer on, our printed uh, layer. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to line it up where we want it to be. And right there looks good to me. I'm going to hold it down and glue around the edges. And press down. Ooh, try not to get the glue on your print out. Okay. And again, we're going to just glue it all the way around on the edge of the entire thing until it's all glued down. For the bottom um, part of the box, you just repeat the process. On this end, I'm going to, like I said, score 
half an inch. Um, right there. Get my ruler. And scoring it just again helps it make a uh, fold over easier. All right. Then take your bottom one because this is going to be facing up. So this is the one I want on the inside. Let me fold my flaps down. And I'm going to again align this corner with this corner. So put my hot glue glue on there and repeat the process. The bottom is already um, attached. Now let's go ahead and cover it up with our cardstock. Just position it where you want it. I'm trying to see, is that where I want it? Um, yep, that'll work. Just hold it down with your hand and just glue it on to the edges. Press down. Let's see, and then I just go ahead and press this down, and then we will be all done. And it will stick to the bottom, so now our bottom is finished. Flip it over, get our top, make sure I have it on the right side. Close our top. Oh, forgot to bend the end. I forgot to crease that side. All right, let's place our top on and we will be done. This one is fitting a little snug. I don't know if I prefer it to fit that snug or a little bit loose, but it's on. All right, oh, it's holding upside down, my bad. All right, so we're done. That's it with our Shaker Watch gift box. If you have any questions, just let me know. Bye.